Hello friends, welcome to the Engineering Funda family. This is my third video in the Internet of Things video lecture series. In this video, I will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the Internet of Things. Let's begin this session with first the agenda that is advantages of Internet of Things, IoT. With the use of IoT, we are able to automate processes which allows us to manage these processes in an even better way. This leads to automation and technical optimization. Technical optimization will be performed using specific parameters. If you make things automatic and decisions are made automatically through applications on the cloud, you will observe that your processes are running more smoothly and the quality of production is improving. With regard to waste, IoT systems help to reduce it, allowing us to use our natural resources more effectively, right? We also minimize human effort and save time. In the Internet of Things, when you create an application, the need for human interaction decreases, so you automatically save time here. The reason is that IoT applications will make decisions, right? In some important situations, the need for humans is reduced. Humans can also make decisions manually, but in normal situations, decisions are made automatically. Here, you will also save on production costs. With our application, we will achieve improved productivity, which will also enhance product quality. We can take action on time and potentially avoid some accidents. If actions are taken manually, there is a possibility that the action may not happen on time. As a result, this could lead to an accident. So in real time and critical applications, automation is essential and important, right? If that automation is done using IoT, then various combinations can be provided to prevent accidents. When we combine IoT cloud with AI, it allows us to improve the behavior of the model or process over time. Nowadays, this is exactly what's happening. You must have observed asset tracking in many applications. For example, if you order something from Amazon, you can track your assets. Asset tracking, traffic or transportation tracking, inventory control, delivery, surveillance, individual order tracking, and customer management can all be made more cost effective with the right tracking system, right? If you order something from Amazon or Flipkart, you can track your order and the service provider can also track the product. This makes the system even more cost effective, providing users with a better and more satisfying experience. This system will further enhance the overall experience for users. When IoT works together with big data, it enables users to extract valuable information from the vast pool of raw data. Usually you will observe that we have a lot of data. If you have a lot of data, you need to extract useful information from it. So with big data, if you have raw data and you process it to extract useful information, you are performing a meaningful activity, which is the case in IoT applications. IoT improves monitoring with smart sensors, right? Sensors are an important component of the Internet of Things. In addition, with smart sensors, you can make the monitoring of these applications even better. You can monitor many things such as temperature, gas leakage, weight. You can monitor all the possible parameters. That's why by using the Internet of Things, all physical parameters can be monitored and optimized. For this, you need to integrate your sensors with your applications. Here, we predict and analyze the outcomes of operations and applications. In detail, by using deep learning, we can make predictions and also analyze the outcomes of applications. If you can predict and analyze your outcomes, it will help your business. It is also used for identifying fault locations. We can see whether any faults are present or not, and then we can identify them. Because everything is structured and all the data is available on the cloud, tracking elements in IoT is quite easy and convenient. In manual control, humans have to observe everything in order to make informed decisions. But if you have all the data available, identifying fault locations becomes easier. 
asset information can be available in real time. The reason for this is that all the data is forwarded over the internet. That's why real-time asset information is available to you. Now I will explain the disadvantages of IoT to you. When we discuss the disadvantages of IoT, it is crucial to note that it is sensitive to various types of attacks. Since everything is available on the internet, there is a high possibility of hackers compromising the system, which makes it always vulnerable to attacks. Maintaining privacy here is a major challenge. The reason is that all users access information from the internet. That is why maintaining privacy is a major challenge. You will observe that the security of confidential data is also a key concern since all users upload their data to the internet. Therefore, there is always a risk of the system being hacked, which makes the security of confidential data a major concern. This application is completely dependent on the internet, meaning its operation and functionality rely entirely on an internet connection. There is significant dependency on the internet, which can create issues there is also a dependency on multiple devices and software. As IoT systems encompass both hardware sensors, embedded systems, and software algorithms that run on the internet. Here, there is a significant dependency on both the internet and hardware. If the sensors fail, your system may not work properly. Speaking of control, we can lose control over our lives. Why? Because things are controlled on the internet. If the servers fail, we can lose control because humans are not directly in control and they might not even have any idea about what is happening. If the servers on the internet fail, this is quite possible. There is a significant risk of job loss here. That pain is continuously increasing nowadays. As you may already know, after IoT and AI came into the picture, many people have lost their jobs due to increased production efficiency and lower costs. That's why IoT contributes to the risk of job loss, right? It is not easy to plan, build, manage, and enable a comprehensive technology framework for IoT. Suppose you have to plan for multiple users for a particular application. However, if the number of users is small, it becomes quite difficult. The reason for this is that you also have to keep costs in mind. There can be incompatibility with IoT standards among different operators because different operators provide services with different standards. In many countries, the standards are incompatible. For example, in Dubai, the temperature is high, so the device standards there will be different. When we talk about Canada, where the temperature can be negative, the standards for sensors also change there. Regional differences and various operators lead to incompatible IoT standards. Even for the operators, those standards change with users. For example, the standards in Germany are different from those in India. That's why making your system compatible for users all over the world is quite challenging. It is a challenging task, right? Now think about what impact the excessive use of IoT could have on people's health. If people use too many IoT applications excessively, health issues may arise. If you don't do physical exercise, then certain health issues are bound to occur. Therefore, to protect your health, it is advisable to engage in regular physical activity, right? These are some of the disadvantages of IoT systems. I sincerely hope that you like this video. Thank you very much for your valuable time.